hello viewers welcome to the channel in this video i'll show you how easy it is to draw this model in FreeCAD using only the part design workbench so this will be another protocol exercise if you want to support the channel you can do so just go to the description of this video and you'll find a link to my qualify page first now let's go to FreeCAD and now create a new document and switch to the part design workbench now let's go to this ring page and first here what we'll do to draw this model we'll start by drawing this cylinder here so let's go to free cut and now here in these active tools click in this icon and select active cylinder press home in your keyboard and first here we'll set the attachment of the cylinder so select yz plane okay and now we can change the radius and the heat of the cylinder so let's go to the drink page and as you can see here we have a diameter of 10 for the cylinder and a heat of 15 so what you do here we change we change here to 5 and here to 15 and then click ok okay now we have the cylinder and the next thing to do is to create this part here to create this part we'll use a deep cylinder again so again click in this icon and for the cylinder select this face okay and now we can set the ridge and the height of this cylinder so let's go to this ring page and as you can see here we have a diameter of 20 and the height of 50 55 so what you do here we change the radius to 10 and the height to 55 okay and now just click ok okay now we have this and next here we can create this part here this part to create this part we'll use additive cylinder again so again click in this icon and for this cylinder select this face okay and now we change the radius here and the height to 20 the alpha of 24 and the estimation here 50 so first here we set a radius of 12 and 8 of 50 as you can see here 50 and 24 so now click ok and next here let's create these parts here we'll use additive cylinder with these radius here a radius of 50 15 okay so what we do here we click in this icon again and for this cylinder we select this face and we change the radius here to the estimation here 15 we set 15 and the height of this cylinder will set the estimation here 30 and now click ok okay and next here what we can do we can create this part here to create this part we'll use a deep cylinder again so what you do here we click in this icon and now select this face okay and let's change the range of this cylinder to you will set 14 for the range of this cylinder 14 and the height of this cylinder will set 5 millimeters so what you do here here you set 14 and here we set 5 and then click ok okay and as you can see now we have this and the next thing to do here is to create this pocket here so what we do to create this pocket we will select this face here and we create a new sketch in this face select rectangle tool and draw this rectangle in this way and now we'll set the distance between this point here to the center point so as you can see here in this ring page we have this distance here 12 between the center point to this line here so what you do here select vertical distance tool select this point and this point here and set 12 okay and now leave this sketch and use this tool here to create a pocket and as you can see now we have this pocket here and the link is 5 so click ok okay and next here let's create this hole here and this hole so how we can do this the way to do that is to select this face first and now select the hole too 
change the diameter of this hole to 16 change here to 16 and the depth of this hole will be 5 so change here to 5 and also we need to change the drill point type to flat okay and now click ok okay and next we can create this hole here so what we need to do is to select this face and click in this tool again and first here we'll set the demo of 5 for this hole so change here to 5 and here we can set 200 no problem okay and this, as you can see we have this hole now so click ok okay and next here what we can do we can create these chamfers here these three operations here so first what we do we select these edge here and control select this edge and go to the chamfer tool and the size of this chamfer will set one this size here will set one and now click ok and now for this edge here select this edge and select chamfer tool for this edge here we'll change the size of the chamfer to two millimeters as you can see here change and click ok next here what we can do we can create this this pocket here so what we'll do to create this pocket first here we'll create a new sketch click on this icon this new sketch here will create an axi plane okay and now zoom in and switch to the section view and now what to do here select cycle tool and draw this cycle and now we'll set the dimension of the cycle and also the placement of the cycle. So first here we'll set the diameter of the cycle. So as you can see here in this view here, we have a range of two for this cycle here. So what you do here, click in this icon and select constraint radius. And now click in this cycle and set two millimeters. Okay, and now as you can see we have two degrees of freedom. So the next step is to set the placement of this center point. So first here, to set the placement of this cylinder, what we'll do here, we'll need to extract this edge here. So select the external jump tool and extract this edge. And now select vertical distance tool, select this point and this point here. And the distance between these two points will set to 1. Okay, and now select horizontal distance tool and now these two points. And as you can see in the section view, here we have a distance of 26. So what you do? We have a distance of 26. Here we'll set 26 plus 1. This size here, 1 is the size of this, of this chamfer here. So we'll set 26 plus 1 and OK. And now leave the sketch and to create the pocket, what we do, we select this groove tool. OK, and what you need to do here is to change the axis of this, of this operation to X axis. And now just click OK. And now as you can see we need to create these fillets operations here with a range of one in this edge here so what you do first select this edge and control select this edge here and now select fillet two and the range of these fillets is one so click ok okay and now as you can see we have this and next here we can we can create these pockets here so first what we'll need to do is to create a new sketch, click on this icon and this sketch here will create in the YZ plane, select YZ plane. And now what we do is switch to the section view and the next here select slot tool and draw this slot in this way. Okay and now let's set the size of this slot. So first here we'll set a range of 1.2 for these arcs so what you do we click in this icon and we select constraint radius and 
for this arc here we set the resolve 1.2 as you can see here okay and next here as you can see we have two degrees of freedom so select vertical distance tool and for this line here we can set the length of 5 okay and now let's select this point here the center point and this origin point here and the distance here will set will set this distance here 9.2 okay and now just leave this sketch and and the next thing to do here is to is to move this sketch here to this face here so what you need to do is to go to the model tape and scroll down here select this sketch and here what we'll do will change the attachment of this sketch so click in this arrow and now go to position click here and here will change the value of the z duration to 15 so change here to 15 and as you can see now we have the sketch here okay and the next here we'll create a new sketch click in this icon select XZ plane for this sketch and now zoom in and switch to the section view and now select the polyline tool and let's draw this line and next this arc here press M three times sorry click in this point and press M three times select constraint radius and for this arc here we'll set a radius of 25 as you can see here okay and now select horizontal distance tool for this line here we'll set a length of 30 okay and the distance between this point here to this origin point we can set 15 okay and now as you can see we have two degrees of freedom here so we can select this sorry select vertical distance tool select this point and this point here and we can set a length of six okay and now just select this point here and this origin point and the distance here we can set this distance here eight millimeters set eight and now leave this sketch okay and now to create this pocket here what we'll do we'll use this subtractive pipe tool so what you need to do is to go to the model tape and here we need to select this sketch here this sketch and then click on this icon and now we need to add a path for this operation so what you do click on this object button and now select this sketch and as you can see now we have this cut here so click OK and as you can see now we have this pocket here and the next thing to do is to create these all pockets here these all operations so what you need to do is to select the subtractive pipe operation and go to the polar pattern tool and here what you need to do is to change the number of occurrence to 14 change here to 14 and now click ok and as you can see now we have this okay and the next thing to do here we can next here we can create these parts here in the cylinder so first what we need to do is to draw a sketch in this face here so first here select this face and create a new sketch click on this icon and now go to sketch geometry select arc tool click in this origin point and draw this first arc here what we are drawing here is these is these sketches here this sketch so again click in this origin point and draw this arc select horizontal constraint and now these two points and next these two points and now select equal constraint and for these and we'll set these two arcs equal and now as you can see we have five degrees of freedom so what we'll do first here we'll set the horizontal distance for these points so select horizontal distance tool 
select this point and this point here and the distance here will set 3 okay and now these two points here will set 4.5 okay and now let's add the vertical distance so here select constant radius and then click in this arc here and the radius for this arc will set 15 okay and for this arc here we'll set this radius here 18 set 18 okay and now we have one degree of freedom so click in this arc here and the radius for this arc will set 20 as you can see here set 20 and now leave this sketch okay and now as you can see here we have this angle here so what you need to do here is to make a copy of this sketch here and then rotate the sketch so first here go to the model tip scroll down here and select this sketch and click in this copy icon and in this window here select this sketch and enter now click in this pass icon and as you can see now we have this sketch but we have to move this sketch to this body so drag this sketch into this body here and now what we'll do here will change the attachment of this sketch here so go to the properties and first here what we'll do will change the value of the z duration we'll change here to minus we'll change here to minus 30 this dimension here so change here and now go to this option here angle and here will change to will change here to 16 degrees as you can see here okay and now click enter and as you can see now we have these two sketches and now to create this to create this first part here what you need to do is to use the additive love tool so what you need to do first is to select this first sketch here and then click in this icon add the loft and now click in this edge station button and select this sketch here and then click ok ok and now we can create these all parts so the way to do that is to select this add loft and then go to the polar pattern tool and here what you need to do is to change the number of occurrence to 14 okay and now click ok the design of this model is finished thank you for watching this video if you find this video useful please leave a like a comment and share this video with your friends and also if you want to support the channel you can do so just go to the description of this video and you'll find a link to my coffee page